Pico Press has become a core part of Tesla production line. It is a gigantic machine and triggered a lot of interest. So which company who built GigaPress? I'm sure a lot of uh, Tesla investors actually know the answer, but I will try to share something beyond that answer. Um, GigaPress actually is not a press machine or stamping machine. It, it is a die casting machine. So it's named after his strong uh, pressing force about 6,000 tons to close the most uh, with holding the liquid uh, metal injection. So because the rear end body is a very big uh, piece of uh, metal, the area is very big and they need a lot of force to close the mold. And that's why Tesla and uh, the company worked together to build the largest uh, uh, die-cast machine and named it as a GigaPress. The official name of GigaPress is OL6100CS, as shown in the picture. I circled that in the picture. And apparently, the other picture is uh, the GigaPress Giga in Fremont. You would, you can barely see the name, but actually the name is there. So uh, the source of the image it provides at the bottom. So this is uh, uh, the, the official name of GigaPress. The company built GigaPress is IDRA. So I quote some history uh, description from the website of the uh, IDRA. Basically, it was founded in 1946, way more than 60 years, actually 75 years, by a family of uh, Basodi in Italy. And uh, since then, blah, 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 that's the history. And the logo, IDRA, actually to me looked like a worm, stick up his head. And this is where uh, IDRA is located, and this is their main building uh, for the factory and probably also office as well. This is from uh, yeah the source of the image we provide at the bottom. I will summarize all the links referred in the presentation put into the video description so you can do further research if you want. And here are some highlights of IDRA. So the funk company uh, since 1946, they built a 2000, they have 2000 plus customers worldwide. So very long history, a lot of customers. And here's the interesting part. They built more than 15,000 um, machines in his 75 years history. So roughly 200 machines per year, uh, if using an average number. So another one is a 9,200 uh, machines still in operation. That's 60%. 60% of the machine in the last, uh, say, 75 years um, still working now. And that give, give us an impression that those machines don't die easily. They have long life. Or put another way, so 200 machines per year, averagely, so 9,200 machines will, 9, machine will be roughly 40, 46 years. So it's just uh, considered like last 40 years machine still alive. It's not accurate, but sort of a good enough. And that tells us that the machine has a very long life, basically. It's good news for Tesla actually. And then next, our next uh, there are some boring numbers, 97 million revenue in 2018, da da da. And R and D expenditure in 2018 is 1 million euro, not very high. But just keep in, just remember, this is a very traditional, uh, heavy industrial manufacturer business. So generally, they don't they don't need a lot of R and D work. But you know, with Tesla's involved, they developed the largest uh, machine, die casting machine, pretty uh, you know pretty fast pace. The last point is quite amazing. They have 180 employees in 2019. And I checked a little bit more detail. Actually, this is a high number. Back to 2010, they only have 124 employees. So they citing their uh, description on their website. Actually, they said uh, less vulnerable to market fluct uh, fluctuation. So that's a key word. Uh, this is a traditional business, have a lot of cycles. 
Sometimes the downturn can be really bad. Okay, as a Tesla investors, uh, as a Tesla investor, you should be alert about this one. So the left graph show a trajectory of the Tesla's capacity in next 20 years. So by 20, by in 10 years, by 2030, when Tesla is expected to is expected to reach roughly 20 million uh, units per year. So we know that Berlin and Texas Model Y will likely adopt single piece casting for both front and rear antibody with GigaPress, of course. And all future models are all likely to use the GigaPress Model Y, 3, 2, Cybertruck. Actually, Cybertruck will be even bigger. They said they're gonna build, they are building 8,000 tons uh, GigaPress to serve Giga, uh, Cybertruck. So with 180 employees, can IDRA support Tesla's growth in the next 10 years? And that's a big question for Tesla's investors to worry about. I see one more picture, and this is a, a picture shared by, te by Tesla about the Shanghai's uh, die casting uh, machine, our GigaPress. Uh, I have one video in my channel about this one, the whole die casting unit. Uh, just focus on this picture. If you look close enough, you will see something interesting. And those machines have different name. They're called DCC 6000. There seems another GigaPress in Tesla Shanghai, which name is uh, whose name is uh, DCC 6000 die casting machine. It is produced by LK Technology Holding Limited, and this is a listed company in Hong Kong. Uh, I provide a ticker here, Hong Kong uh, 0558. The name is here. And this is the machine name. Actually, the machine name is called Impress Plus. So how could the two companies producing two kind of machines, but with same name? They all call GigaPress. Actually, IDRA is a subsidiary company of LK Group. And LK Group as a listed company acquired 70% of IDRA in 2008 with a valuation only 5 million euro. And LK controlled 100% IDRA in 2011. So this is a very, very typical M&A uh, during the industry downtown, industrial downturn. So other side, I show a, a screenshot of the, the SEC, Hong Kong SEC announcement. So you can, I provide a link in the bottom. You're welcome to check it out. So what about LK Group? And here are some highlights. So LK Group has six facilities in mainland China, one in Taiwan, and one in uh, Italy, which is IDRA. And on the right side, you have uh, eight campus pictures, and uh, those are the uh, eight facilities of the LK Group, including the last one is IDRA. They have a 60 sales office and sales centers in 20 countries. They have uh, 3,600 employees in 2019, which is uh, 20 times of 180 employees of IDRA. So there, the, through the management, according to the management, they, they said uh, since the second half of 2020, LK Group, including the IDRA, has delivered 15 GigaPress machines to Tesla sites in Fremont, Shanghai, Berlin, and Austin. So, and this is the key message. LK Group and IDRA apparently have enough capacities to support Tesla's production expansion. So no worry about that. Another one is that now you are an expert who can tell the subtle difference between the brands of the GigaPress. The following picture is uh, Giga Berlin. Uh, credit go to uh, Tobias uh, Lind. The uh, link of the image is shared in the bottom. So which company produced this Giga machine, Giga price machine? Um, make your own call. 
Thank you for watching and welcome to subscribe.